Hi, welcome back to Educator.com. This is the lesson on embryological and fetal development. So an overview of development from conception up to adulthood would go like this. Uh, it starts with fertilization. Uh, that is the moment of conception. When sperm fuses with egg, you're going to get what's called a zygote. That's the first cell of life. Um, then from that point on, it's embryological development until it becomes a fetus. Um, the first step in getting from zygote to embryo is what's called cleavage, and that's a term for when cells physically uh, divide the cytoplasms and, and separate. Um, so cleavage happens after um, telophase, if you took biology recently. Um, but cleavage happens over and over and over and over. You form a, a ball of cells, and that ball of cells uh, that has a hollow uh, center is called a blastula. And then it goes through what's called gastrulation. Gastrulation is a folding in, and then you get defined layers within that ball of cells. You get outer layers of cells, middle layers of cells, and inner layers of cells. And then there's this gastrula development until we call it an embryo. And it's called an embryo until about week nine, and then from that point on, it's a fetus. And it's a fetus um, in through the second trimester, third trimester, and then eventually, birth happens, and then you have postnatal development. So this baby here, this cute baby, is going to develop, you know, in, into a toddler, a uh, child, adolescence, adulthood, and eventually you reach maturity, and you die. Fertilization overview. Um, so how does fertilization actually occur? What, what are the details? It's fusion of a secondary oocyte and a spermatozoan, uh, or spermatozoa. Um, Secondary oocyte, if you saw the female reproductive system uh, lesson, that comes from what's called a um, oogonium. That's kind of like the stem cell uh, that makes eggs. And the secondary oocyte is a more technical term rather than just calling it an egg or an ovum. This is actually not completely done with meiosis, and I'm going to cover that a little bit in the future in this lesson. Uh, but once the sperm spermatozoan makes contact with it, it will finish uh, meiosis and then become that full-fledged ovum. And each of these should have 23 chromosomes. That's the haploid number. That's uh, chromosomes without a pair that go with that, that those chromosomes. So when you have sperm and egg coming together, you have 23 going with 23 chromosomes, and that's how you get the diploid number, or 46 once again. The volume ratio, when you compare um, the oocyte and the uh, spermatocyte or spermatozoan is about 2,000 to 1 uh, volume wise. So the amazing thing is that when you, when you take one sperm and if you were to stretch it out with its, you know, little sperm head and, and flagellum, it's close to about half the length of the diameter of, of an egg cell, but the volume is crazy different. 2,000 times the volume in an egg. And that makes sense because besides, um, you know, the sperm head having the nucleus, there's not much else going on there. When you look inside of an ovum, uh, one of those egg cells, you've got a lot of cytoplasm outside of the nucleus, but contained within the plasma membrane. Um, all the major organelles that you're going to have in that um, ball of cells, in that embryo, come from mom, um, including mitochondria, ER, Golgi, etc. Um, and those are a lot of what are called epigenetic factors, just um, things other than DNA that are inherited from the maternal side. And fertilization typically occurs within a day after ovulation in the fallopian tube. So if it happens within a day after ovulation, the part of the fallopian tube that is going to happen here is that infundibulum. Uh, if you remember, the fallopian tubes have those uh, fimbriae. That's closer to the ovary rather than closer to the uterus. Um, you know, if, if fertilization happens uh, where, where the sperm reach uh, the egg in, in the second day after ovulation or even the third day, yes, then the egg will have gotten closer to um, the body of the uterus. And yes, a zygote is formed. Zygote is the term for uh, the first cell of a new life. And that zygote should have 46 chromosomes if all is well. And here's a, an older micrograph of the surface of uh, an egg cell and a sperm. 